My dear friends, how do you find the declarations of the Lord in today's gospel passage? Do you find them comforting? Do you find them reassuring? I would like to read your silence as, no, Father, it's the other way around. And you're right. The statements in today's gospel passage are really disconcerting. Why? Because these highlight that Christian discipleship can only mean that we do not put anything or anyone above the Lord. The Lord should never be second to anyone or to anything. He should always be first in our lives. That's what he is asking us to do in this celebration of ours and every day of our lives. Now, that's a tall order. That's a very demanding exhortation. My dear friends, adherence to the person and message of Christ may entail our experience of losing treasured bonds, friendships, uh, family acquaintances, and at the same time, taking up the sacrifice of the cross. Mauna meaning sa Christian discipleship. Mauna pasabot sa Christian living. Christianity, therefore, is not for the faint of heart. Mauna ang ay natin isod sa tungo na huna o kasing-kasing so that we would not be surprised by how demanding Christianity can become. No wonder the Lord, when He walked this earth, He never promised easy life to His followers. He promised them something else. And what was that? He promised them that they would never walk alone. They would never be alone in their struggle. Kindly pray over the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9. My dear friends, obedience to the Word of God automatically separates good from evil, right from wrong. Why? We live in, a, in a, at a time when tolerance is the, is the most prized commodity. Pero claro kayo sa ito'y banghelyo karon. if you obey the word of God, you cannot help it. A demarcation line would be immediately drawn between good and evil, right and wrong. That's why the Lord, yes, He was very compassionate to sinners. He tried to bring them the grace of conversion. But He was never, emphasis never, He was never tolerant of sin and hypocrisy. He did not mince words in denouncing this during His public ministry while He walked upon the earth. So, dili siya tolerant. He was very divisive. Why? He was obedient to the word of God and he was committed to the values of the kingdom. My dear friends, only the sword of the spirit, only the splendor of the truth of the living word of God can set us free from the clutches of the evil one. Only this sword, nga gisgutan sa Ebanghelyo karon, nga dad unia, dili kalinaw, only this sword, the Word of God, can enable us to stand against spiritual wickedness in high places. Mauna nga, sa atong pagtapos, in atong pamalandong karon, we have to acknowledge, haruma redita sa implications, fidelity to Christ and His Church has the potential of dividing families. It has the potential of displeasing people. Mawagtangan tag suod, mawagtangan tag connections, mawagtangan tag opportunities. But in our hearts, we say to ourselves, well, it's worth it. Why? 
because this entails eternal life, something we cannot toy with. Amen.